Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 18th, 2023. Well, yesterday turned out to be kind of a hurry up and wait choppy session, but we ended up with a surge right at the end of the day to bring markets up and make them look a little bit better at the end of the day while we were just kind of waiting. And what were we waiting for? Well, we were waiting for a big day of earnings reports. We have already received a couple of those this morning. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at what's going on this morning, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, we've already heard from uh, Bank of America this morning and they had better than expected results. They're continuing to push on up here in those financials. We seem to have really no worry at all about the financials here um, as of late, you know, after the banking crisis, no real concern and they're pressing them back to the upside. Kind of keep in mind, we've got a downtrend in price resistance still in that chart to be thinking about here on BAC. And then if we take a look at Johnson & Johnson, J&J &J also reported this morning, popping up, showing some bullishness here um, in the pre-market on JNJ. And we're still waiting for a big report from Goldman Sachs and of course, several others today. Let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today. So the diamonds continuing up in this bullish trend, and we seem to be just climbing a wall of worry here about recession, bond, uh, our bond yields continuing to rise, adding additional pressures. Um, but as you can see, as we press up here, we're pressing into this big resistance level in the chart. And we will see if we have that opportunity to get up there and test that. And with the data today, there'd be no reason to believe that we couldn't. We could really see um, with these data points uh, coming out today, some inspiration for those bulls. And if they are inspired, well then let's look for a test up here in this region of resistance in the chart. If those bears for some reason were to come in and find inspiration, and there may be a reason that we're kind of pushing this a little bit too far at the moment, but if they were to find some inspiration, maybe a pullback to test yesterday's lows might be the place where we would go if they were to really um, find some reason to start selling. Now, kind of keep in mind that if we were to push on through and, and drop down into here, this would be the bigger level of price support. And that would actually break this um, upside trend that I gotta be honest is steep enough that I'm not sure it can be sustained for um, a terrible long time. Then let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, in moving up in this trend, you can see very, very strong in this move. Also rather steep in this, um, this climb. And you can see we're pushing up into this price resistance here this morning. I would suspect um, with the bullishness that we are seeing in the pre-market that we're gonna test this level and maybe even see if we can push on through. So if those bulls find enough inspiration here today, let's expect a press right up into this level and maybe we squeak on past just a little bit you can see there's some high points out here just beyond that level that we could squeak on through to the upside now the question is whether they were hold remember we can punch through levels like that but then if we cannot hold them then well then we've got a problem but let's watch that close now if those uh, bears find inspiration maybe a pullback to retest yesterday's lows a little bit of price support right in there and of course if that were to fail then we'd look a little bit lower let's take a look at our qqq our nasdaq which has been the strongest of the indexes here for some time still pressing um, against that resistance here in the chart. And one of the reasons I think it's been struggling just a little bit is those rising bond yields have been causing a problem here. Um, tech, uh, the tech market um, struggles the most with um, those rising bond rates. And as you can see, 
pressing into a fairly substantial resistance level in the chart. We'll see if we can push on through here today with this bullish inf information. So if they can um, break through that resistance up here, where do we go? Well, I think then we start looking up to these peaks up in here to see whether or not we how much just how far we can press this to the upside and if those bears if those bears find inspiration today well i would suspect a retest back in here testing that support maybe yesterday's low and then if that doesn't hold a push down into that price support that's still holding the trend and there would be no no question whether the bulls were still maintaining control just holding at that level might be a little painful if you're all along but um, shouldn't be um, any reason to be running for the door. If we take a look at IWM, now IWM strangely had our biggest day yesterday. Small caps did the best job yesterday rallying to the upside, but you wanna kinda of keep an eye on this because we have major resistance levels in this chart and it continues to be the weakest of the market. So again, look for a test up here into these, uh, the kind of that double whammy resistance level in the chart um, on the IWM if they can continue to press to the upside. And if those bears were to reject that area, by the way, if they, if they can push on through, Maybe we can go a little bit higher, right in, right up into this area here. If um, if those bears find that resistance being just a little bit too strong, and they come into play, then maybe a press back down into here, this little support area in the chart may be possible. Let's take a look at our VIX. I got to tell you, the VIX is very odd to me with. The uh, threat of recession, seeing the bond uh, bond yields continuing to grow um, uh, to the upside, um, and there just is no fear here. And it is extremely odd to me that we continue to press this to the downside with no concern um, about the potential recession, the slowing economy, those kind of things, the declining jobs. Um, we just don't care. Um, at the moment. So watch that closely as we continue to sink here in the VIX. Watch this support level. There's a little bit of price support here. And if that were to fail, then look down in here where we're really starting to get into a zone of complacency in the market. So um, if we were to bounce, then look for this resistance up in here to resist us moving any higher. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, particularly right at the end of the day where we squeezed everything to the upside at the end of the day, T2122 stretching up here toward that bearish reversal zone again. And as we continue to press and press and press this market to the upside, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Kind of stretching up here. Um, we've got some upside room if we can continue that go and uh, to con continue to get that bullishness. And there's reason to believe we will. Right now, Dow futures are pointing to a 130 point gap up. So we're going to gap right into um, the upper regions of this T2122. And well, we know what we've seen lately we push up in there and and uh, well we can't follow through and and then we see the bears come back in so watch that close and if those bears were to somehow find some inspiration today then just keep in mind we've got a big open opportunity to the downside um, in that chart our t2108 yesterday did a nice job pushing on up notice we right at the end of the day and it was right at the end of the, day, the last couple of minutes of the day we actually broke through this little resistance here in t2120 uh, t2108 pushing on up now we have broken that downtrend here so we're bullish on t2108 47 percent of the stocks i'm guessing today we're going to go over 50 percent of our stocks above their 40-day moving average so you're going to have to give that up to the bears now keep kind of keeping in mind this is a little bit steep on the rally and at any point in time we could stretch this rubber band a little bit too quick and we see some profit taking coming in not necessarily bearishness but a little bit of profit taking coming in then if we take a look at our t2107 um, whoops 
T2107, pretty much the same. We stretched a little bit and it, and it really pushed right at the end of the day, trying to move up. And you'll notice we've got some price resistance in this chart that we're testing pretty solidly. Notice we're sneaking out from underneath that downtrend here in the chart. If we can continue to push that up, I would suggest up there again, right around those 50, uh, that 50% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average could be the next test to the upside. And if those bears were to find inspiration, maybe a press down in here, back around the, you know, the low 40s um, in stocks holding above their 200 day if those bears were to get going. Um, here in the market. Um, but as of now, there is no sign of that. And T2101, T2101 just kind of hooked over yesterday, showing that we really kind of lost momentum uh, in that move yesterday. And the reason is volumes were uh, quite low on the day. We just couldn't really get a lot of volume coming in as we were just waiting for these big data points to come along. So let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar, not much there for us to worry about today. We've got the housing starts and permits, and my guess is the big earnings reports from the banks, that kind of thing are gonna overshadow this, but let's keep an eye on this. This has been a little bit problematic. We've been seeing that weakening in the housing um, area. Uh, we're, we're tending to ignore many of these things. It, it doesn't seem to matter all that much, but um, let's keep an eye on that data point. Uh, if, if we are continuing to see our economy weaken, that may eventually kind of build up to a, um, uh, well, it just kind of becomes overwhelming and then things kind of tumble back down just a bit. Then kind of uh, keep an eye on that 52 week bond auction here today um, uh, with our three year, or excuse me, our three month bonds are now over 5%. Um, and then we've got um, Fed speak here today. As you prepare for Wednesday, not much out there. We've got mortgage applications, we've got petroleum status, and we've got the beige book in there, 20 year bond auction, a couple Fed speakers, and um, then another big round of earnings reports on the day. So you'll want to be keeping an eye on that. Um, one of the things I was going to share with you guys is this um, overall PE ratio for the market. And you've probably been seeing some stories out there about this, that um, the PE ratio is reaching, um, well, it is in an overvalued condition. We continue to press this to the upside. And what this is showing here is that our PE ratio is 43.8% above. This is on the S&P 500, 43.8% above the historical average. Um, so we, as we continue to press to this to the upside, we continue to see this situation where our S&P 500 PE ratios are extremely strong. I mean, um, overvalued. So you wanna be thinking about that as we continue to stretch and stretch and stretch and push um, these leaders to new highs that we could reach that point, that breaking point in the market. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is starting to pick up here and get busier and busier. And that's what we were talking about here this morning. Um, we are going to hear from, oh, we've already heard from Bank of America, BAC, here today. We're going to get um, a report from uh, BK. We're going to get some of those regionals in here. You can see BK having a little pop and drop, at least at the moment. We're also going to hear from Goldman Sachs today still waiting on that report but there's a lot of bullishness heading into that number we've already heard from uh, Johnson and Johnson that's pushing us up we're going to hear from LMT today we've been seeing Lockheed Martin moving to the upside which um, aerospace and defense um, when we've got China rattling sabers with with Taiwan and um, the Ukrainian situation out there, North Korea once again kicking up their heels. Um, one of the things we don't want to see is that geopolitical uncertainty really starting to pick up. 
but we're certainly seeing these aerospace and defense stocks looking pretty good. And then we're going to hear from stocks like um, ISRG today. We're going to hear from UAL today. But if you want to catch the full list of notables, if you would click the link just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of notables. And please keep in mind, as the numbers of earnings ramp up, no way I'll be able to cover all those notables for the day. So um, if you uh, can find where that is, that would be um, to your advantage. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. If you can click those thumbs up buttons of other folks' comments, it's the engagement with the, with the video that matters the most nowadays. So if you could help me out with that, I would really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're being very, very careful here in the market, not over trading with the potential volatility. And make sure you're never, ever blindly following someone else's trade ideas. Well, yesterday I spent quite a bit of time talking about some of these drug manufacturing stocks. And with J&J &J popping up this morning, boy, I would be keeping an eye on this chart pattern in BMY. If J&J um, &J can provide a little bit of lift in here, uh, BMY could certainly pop right out of this little uh, tight little trading box and be off to the races to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Now, you do want to keep in mind that it's going to report on 427. So um, weigh your risk very carefully on that, but BMY could catch that upside move. You might also want to take a look at Merck. Um, Merck um, broke through resistance in here, this really strong move, and you can see kind of consolidating that breakthrough here last four days. Uh, that bullishness coming in in J&J &J could also inspire a little bit of more upside here in Merck, so I would watch that one close. Um, you might want to take a look at Proctor. Proctor has been holding this nice little resting consolidation pattern, albeit there's considerable price resistance up here above. But once again, the Johnson & Johnson um, uh, numbers could help inspire that to move on higher. I would watch that closely. Take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks out there. My goodness, Hershey has been strong here. Uh, who would have thought that we would see something as old and boring as Hershey moving so strongly here in the market. But it sure is a nice bullish move there yesterday on Hershey trying to pop on through to the upside. Take a look at stocks like Colgate Palm Olive that are still trying to set up and move to the upside. KHC, nice pop yesterday, pushing on through out of this little platform pattern, trying to move to the upside in the chart. A lot of these charts um, starting to show that bullishness. Walmart being another, holding in this pattern, trying to push on higher. Old Mickey D's, oh my goodness, stretching hard to the upside and just continuing to stretch. I think this is extremely overbought in the short term, but it is something to watch as there just doesn't seem to be any um, concern out there at all uh, from investors. They just want to buy something. Just don't don't make me think about anything else. Just find me something to buy. So they're pushing those to the upside. Keep a close eye on Disney. Now, Disney is in this nice setup pattern, but it's likely waiting for this Netflix earnings later on this afternoon. That could have a bullish effect or a bearish effect on Disney. I would watch that close, but this is a beautiful little pattern here in that chart. Take a look at CRWD. Now CRWD has been a little bit choppy right in here, but we're trying to recover 
in this chart you can see we're still pressing up toward that 200 day this has been a nice little simple upside trend continuing to run I think there's still a chance we're going to press into that 200 day might be worth keeping an eye on and I think um, if you like um, any of the shippers I would keep an eye on uh, FedEx nice little resting pattern here in the chart very tight consolidation in this beautiful uptrend we're resting against this price resistance bullishness in these earnings reports can continue to push these on higher so watch that close in FedEx take a look at Paula Alto, Pan W moving to the upside strongly, continuing to push up here into resistance, breaking through major resistance levels, showing lots of bullishness. Any rest consolidation in here, I think, would be an opportunity for an upside move. So watch those closely. So, with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the support of the channel. Honestly, I'm very humbled by it. Truly appreciate it. You guys take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. And I wish you all of the best.